Yellowstone National Park has long been synonymous with dramatic geothermal features. From geysers that spout boiling water into the air, to steaming hot springs that color the landscape in brilliant hues. Underlying this celebrated natural beauty lies one of the most closely monitored and intriguing geological phenomena in the world, a vast magma chamber beneath the Yellowstone caldera. Recent geological studies have revealed that Yellowstone's magma chamber is moving, and some scientists speculate that a major eruption could be near. The prospect of such an event raises critical questions about the scientific basis for these claims, the nature of volcanic systems, and how we interpret the signals from deep within the Earth. Today, let's delve into the complexities of the Yellowstone magma system, examine the evidence that suggests movement beneath the caldera, and discuss the potential for a catastrophic eruption. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Yellowstone Supervolcano is one of the largest and most studied volcanic systems on Earth. It is classified as a caldera, a large basin-shaped volcanic depression that forms when a massive eruption empties the magma chamber beneath it, causing the surface to collapse. The Yellowstone caldera spans approximately 30 by 45 miles, making it one of the largest volcanic features in the world. Yellowstone's caldera is the result of a series of cataclysmic eruptions which occurred millions of years ago. These eruptions were not only colossal in scale, but also transformative, reshaping the landscape and leaving behind a caldera that continues to be a source of geothermal energy. At its core lies a magma reservoir, a vast chamber of molten rock that has fueled the park's geothermal features for hundreds of thousands of years. The magmatic system beneath Yellowstone consists of a two-tiered reservoir, a shallow magma chamber about 3 to 10 miles below the surface, and a deeper chamber that extends from about 12 to 31 miles deep. These chambers contain a mixture of molten rock, partially melted rock, and crystalline material. Advances in seismic tomography, a technique akin to a CT scan of the Earth, have allowed geologists to see these subsurface features in remarkable detail. These imaging techniques reveal a sprawling zone of anomalously high temperatures and low seismic velocities, indicative of magma and fluids in motion. The idea that the magma chamber is on the move is rooted in observations of ground deformation, seismic swarms, and changes in gas emissions. Over time, shifts in the distribution of magma can cause the overlying rock to uplift or subside. For example, periodic inflation of the ground has been recorded at Yellowstone, signaling that the magma is replenishing or reconfiguring itself. Such deformations are closely monitored using precise instruments such as GPS stations and interferometric synthetic aperture radar, which can detect changes on the order of millimeters. Between 2004 and 2010, sections of the Yellowstone caldera rose by up to 7 centimeters per year, one of the fastest uplift rates ever recorded in the region. Although this uplift has since slowed, continued deformation indicates the presence of active subsurface processes. Yellowstone also experiences thousands of small earthquakes each year, most of which are too minor to be felt by humans. An increase in seismic activity especially earthquake swarms, can signal the movement of magma. In 2017, Yellowstone experienced one of its largest earthquake swarms, with over 2,400 quakes, recorded in a span of several months. More recent seismic swarms in 2021 and 2022 have also raised concerns, as they suggest that magma is shifting beneath the surface. Changes in hydrothermal features can also indicate shifting magma dynamics. Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, reactivated in 2018 after years of dormancy and has continued to erupt at irregular intervals. Meanwhile, changes in thermal emissions, water chemistry, and new fumarole formations have been observed in multiple areas of the park. Recent geological studies have revealed that Yellowstone's volcanic activity is shifting toward the northeast of the Yellowstone caldera. Among the identified magma bodies, only the one in Yellowstone's northeast sector is expected to retain enough heat to stay partially molten long-term. 
This discovery refines older ideas that suggested multiple areas could erupt in the distant future. Researchers have identified significant reservoirs of rhyolitic magma beneath this northeastern region, suggesting it could be the focal point of future volcanic events. Rhyolitic magma is a type of silica-rich magma that contains a high percentage of silica, typically over 70%. It is the most viscous type of magma, which makes it significantly different from basaltic and andesitic magmas. The recent study indicates that basaltic magma from the lower crust is migrating upward, supplying heat to these northeastern rhyolitic magma reservoirs. This process enhances the accumulation of rhyolitic melt in the area. One way to monitor activity beneath Earth's surface involves measuring surface variations in the planet's magnetic and electric fields. This is known as magnetotellurics, and it's particularly sensitive to the presence of subsurface melts. The scientists carried out a wide-scale magnetotelluric survey across the Yellowstone caldera and used the resulting data to model the distribution of the melt reservoirs lurking therein. Their results revealed that there are at least seven distinct regions of high magma content, some of which are feeding into others at depths between 2.5 to 30 miles beneath the ground, down to the boundary of the crust and mantle. The most interesting melt storage was in the northeast. There, huge reservoirs of basaltic magma in the lower crust heat and maintain chambers of rhyolitic magma in the upper crust. These chambers of rhyolitic magma contain an estimated melt storage volume of around 388 to 489 cubic kilometers, almost an order of magnitude higher than melt storage zones to the south, west, and north where previous eruptions took place. This volume, the researchers note, is also comparable to the melt volume of previous caldera-forming eruptions in Yellowstone. Despite the clear signs of magma movement beneath Yellowstone, scientists are careful to emphasize that an eruption is not necessarily imminent. Predicting volcanic eruptions is an incredibly complex task, and several factors must be considered. While magma is moving, there is currently no evidence that enough magma is accumulating at a rate necessary for a major eruption. The current magma reservoirs have low melt fractions, indicating they are not in an eruptible state. Large-scale eruptions are typically preceded by significant surface fracturing and faulting, which has not been observed at Yellowstone. While Yellowstone has experienced three super eruptions, they occurred at widely spaced intervals approximately 600,000 to 800,000 years apart. Based on this rough timeline, a future eruption is possible, but not necessarily imminent. The USGS currently ranks Yellowstone's eruption threat as high due to its potential impact, but they do not believe an eruption is likely in the near future. The USGS notes that while future eruptions are expected, they are likely thousands of years away. The recent findings indicate that while Yellowstone is not necessarily on the verge of an imminent eruption, its magmatic system remains highly dynamic and active. The increased activity underscores the importance of continued monitoring and scientific research. But predicting volcanic eruptions remains one of the most challenging areas in geoscience. While Yellowstone is one of the best monitored volcanoes in the world, the deep and complex nature of its magma system means that significant uncertainties remain. Volcanic systems are influenced by a multitude of variables, including temperature, pressure, rock composition, and fluid dynamics, all interacting in a non-linear fashion. As a result, even subtle changes in one parameter can lead to unexpected outcomes. Current models of the Yellowstone magma system are built on decades of observational data, and sophisticated computational simulations. These models allow scientists to estimate the likelihood of various scenarios, ranging from minor hydrothermal explosions to full-scale caldera-forming eruptions. While some models have indicated that the system is dynamic and capable of producing significant activity, none have provided conclusive evidence that a major eruption is imminent. The challenges of monitoring a system as large and complex as Yellowstone also underscore the importance of maintaining a network of instruments that can capture a wide range of data. 
Continued investment in monitoring technologies is critical for improving our understanding of the system. Even with the best technology, however, the inherent uncertainties mean that scientists must always communicate risk in terms of probabilities rather than certainties. While the probability of a super-eruption remains a distant but serious possibility, advancements in geophysical monitoring and hazard assessment give humanity its best chance at mitigating the risks. As scientists continue to refine models of Yellowstone's magmatic processes, the ability to detect warning signs will improve. For now, Yellowstone remains a breathtaking natural wonder, one that commands both admiration and respect.